There have been many characters during the story that had a very high possibility of joining the Straw Hat crew but did not join in the end. Pedro, Carrot, Rebecca, Vivi, Polly, Bonclay, and of course, Yamato. Some people were even 100% sure that Yamato would join the crew, but Oda chose otherwise. Among these characters, logically, Bonnie has the highest possibility of joining the Straw Hats. I say logically because other characters that I mentioned were Straw Hat material, but they all lacked one thing, unlike Bonnie, and we will talk about that in a few minutes. For example, Pedro wanted to join Roger's crew as a kid, so why wouldn't he join the next Pirate King. There were also a lot of cover stories with a Jaguar and he had good chemistry with Usopp and Frankie so Pedro joining the crew was one of the biggest theories of that time. The same goes for Carrot. She had chemistry with many of the Straw Hats. There was also some foreshadowing there with Pedro telling her that eventually it would be her turn to sail the world. Yamato was nearly confirmed because he mentioned that he wanted to join Luffy's crew nearly every chapter. He wanted to live the way Kozuki Oden did and wanted to fight on Luffy's side. It was really confusing seeing Yamato not join the crew because of how much Yamato stated she wanted to join Luffy. Oda may do something similar with Bonnie, but still, I am sure Bonnie has more reasons to join the Straw Hats and I will explain why. First of all, her vibes perfectly match the Straw Hats. We have two perverts, Sanji and Brooke, two geeks, Chopper and Usopp, two mature, calm ones, Robin and Jinbei, and two cowards, Nami and Usopp. Bonnie and Luffy can be glutton ones. Besides her entomophobia, Phobia, as we've seen in Egghead, can be quite the running gag if she joins. On the other hand, we know how much Luffy loves beetles. It was shown in cover stories in One Piece films during Luffy's childhood, at Fishman Island, and even on Egghead. We can find her ties with the Straw Hats from her very first appearance. She protected Zoro at Sabaody, preventing him from making a scene by slaying a celestial dragon, which could have been much worse for the crew than Luffy punching him in the face. Robin similarly saved Luffy in Alabasta after Luffy lost a crocodile. On top of that, she also knows Sabo, Luffy's brother. Luffy even calls her by her actual name. Luffy and Law had an alliance since Punk Hazard and Luffy still keeps calling him Tragai. Also, I think we can agree that Bonnie and the Straw Hats have the same enemies, Akainu, Blackbeard, and the Celestial Dragons. She even attacked Saturn, one of the Gorosei. So right now, we can consider the whole world government as her enemy now. Like other Straw Hats, she had a pretty difficult childhood, especially after Kuma became a cyborg. Kuma did everything to give Bonnie a good childhood and save her life, but her story is still tragic. It was revealed in the Viva card books that her crew got captured and only she managed to escape. Her only choice now, if she wants to remain in the piracy world, is joining a Yonko such as Luffy. Other characters like Carrot, Yamato, Vivi, and Rebecca had a place to stay. Two of them are the princesses of their countries, and Carrot became the ruler of the Mokomo dukedom, but Bonnie has nowhere to go. I think there is no doubt that she will escape from Egghead. After witnessing Kuma's backstory and seeing how much he did for Bonnie to survive and live a happy life, it will be the most unexpected thing for Oda to kill her in this arc, so she will survive for sure. On the other hand, I don't think Kuma will escape. He is strong and he can teleport, but after witnessing Kuma's flashback, I think this is the end for him. Most likely, he will see Luffy in his Nika form and die with a smile on his face. In conclusion, Conclusion, after this arc, Bonnie will have no one and no place to go. This is why I said that logically everything hints at her joining the Straw Hats. But what could another scenario be? Let's say Luffy defeats Saturn. There are still a hundred thousand marines, vice admirals, Luchi, Kaku, and Kizaru on Egghead. They have to escape from Egghead. They just can't stay there. Even if the Straw Hats defeat everyone, which is very unlikely, the world government will send another army, so it does not make any sense for them to stay on Egghead. The Straw Hats and Vegapunk are headed to Elbaf. Do you think Bonnie will just thank the Straw Hats for everything and leave? She has no crew, family, or a place to go, so it's nearly impossible possible for her to leave the crew. If not Kuma, at least Bonnie, his daughter, who is also inspired by Nika, will witness Nika defeating the world government with her own eyes. Bonnie's devil fruit powers will be more useful for the Straw Hats than you might think. Her Toshi Toshi no Mi allows her to freely manipulate the aging process of anything, including herself, other people, and objects. She can use this power to disguise herself, and she also knows Mary Joey's very well, so she will be very useful in the final war against the world government. Bonnie's greatest ability so far is 
Nika's distorted future. With this ability, she could become her own version of Nika. In chapter 1103, Saturn mentioned that the only reason she could not transform into the real Nika is that she has not seen the real Nika yet. We also saw that she can affect others with this ability as well. She turned Luffy into a 70-year-old version of himself with this ability. Also, she can induce a near-death experience, causing her opponents to briefly adopt the appearance of a skeleton before their flesh returns. This seems like a different version of Distorted Future as well. From this information, we can speculate that after witnessing Nika's real form, she will be able to transform herself and the Straw Hats into their Nika versions. It could be her Devil Fruit Awakening. Of course, Bonnie did not become as strong as Nika, but she became strong enough to defeat a CP agent at the age of 10 and escape from the Marines and the world government. Bonnie became at least two times stronger with her Nika form, which still did not make her very strong, but imagine this ability on Zoro or Sanji. If they become two times stronger than they already are, they will become invincible. Naturally, Luffy is the only one who can really be Nika, but with Bonnie's Devil Fruit, other characters can get a bit of additional Nika powers. We have seen a similar thing in other anime as well. Naruto, for example, could share QB Chakra for all the shinobi in the fourth great ninja war. It's not stated exactly how much chakra he gave each individual shinobi, but it was enough to give everyone a good boost. An idea that One Piece fans have theorized about for years is 444. Luffy will pick up four crewmates from each part of his journey. The first four are from East Blue, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, and Sanji. Chopper, Robin, Frankie, and Brook came from the Grand Line. The last four will come from the New World. Jinbei already joined. Vivi left the Straw Hats after defeating Baroque Works to stay in her home country but is still considered a member of the crew. After escaping Mary Joey's, Vivi became a fugitive and went into hiding from Emu and the Five Elders. She will reunite with the Straw Hats soon. Since Skypea, Luffy has been portrayed as some kind of messiah. It's heavily implied in the Whole Cake and Wano arcs and it has been repeated many times that the world has been waiting for some kind of savior figure. Crocus, Roger, Whitebeard, Pedro, King, Kaido, they have all mentioned it. After the revelation of Luffy's sun god Nika form and his parallels with Joy Boy, it's confirmed that Luffy is the man the world has been waiting for for centuries. Oda always uses different religions in One Piece, Hinduism, Buddhism, and so on. But in Wano and Egghead, we had a lot of parallels to Christianity, and all parallels were connected to Nika, aka Luffy. I believe the same way that Christ had 12 disciples, Luffy will have 12 crewmates. Four from East Blue, four from the Grand Line, and four from the New World, making 13 Straw Hats in total. I also believe that the new Straw Hats will be characters that we already know because we are already in the final saga and there won't be enough time to introduce new important characters, show their backstories, and make us love them like the other Straw Hats. As there are not many arcs left, I believe one of the new members has to join the crew after Egghead. From the four possibilities, Kuma, Vegapunk, Bonnie, and Kizaru, it's clear that Bonnie has the highest possibility of joining the crew. As I already mentioned, the next arc will be Elbaf. If you want to see what to expect from the Elbaf arc, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching.